Have you ever wondered how to make a virtual machine inside VMware Workstation start up with Windows startup? Or whenever you boot up your computer, the virtual machine would run up automatically. But why would you need this? Well, sometimes you have services or applications that are running inside a virtual machine that you would need to run once Windows startup to keep these services running. For example, I'm using this Pop OS virtual machine to host a pie-hole container. And therefore, without this virtual machine running, my DNS is not working. And as you see right now, I can't reach the internet. So it's beneficial for me to keep this virtual machine automatically running whenever Windows starts up. There is a very easy way to script this and make it run with the Windows startup. Let's see how we can do it. Using a text file, all we need to do is to do a call to the VMware workstation VM run executable file. This file is responsible for making virtual machine runs using the command start. Once we do this static word, we just need to define which virtual machine we are trying to run in this case. So if I go back to my pop OS, we need to point the start command to this VMX file for this specific virtual machine. So I can basically go into the edit and go into the option and I'm gonna go to the advanced tab and here is the VMX file full location inside my computer. So I'm gonna copy the full path to the VMX file and I'm just gonna add it to my script in here inside quotation. So I'm gonna add a quotation and then close the quotation. Now my VM run executable file will try to start the virtual machine defined by pubosvmwin.vmx. Now all we need to do now is to save this file and let's call it vmrun.cmd because this is a CMD script and I'm gonna save it. Now to make our Windows start up this shell script once the Windows start, we need to do a run command using the Windows and R command. And we're gonna go into this shell startup. This is the folder where you would boot applications and script that you want Windows to run with the Windows boot up. So let's go to our document, let's copy our executable file, and then we're gonna save it into this startup folder. Now all we need to do is to restart our computer and test out if this had worked. Now as Windows booting up, we can see already the script is running in here and that triggered the VMware workstation application to run and start up our virtual machine as soon as the Windows had started up. So now if we try to access the internet, now we are able to access the internet again because our virtual machine feeding us the DNS service is now running automatically whenever Windows 10 starts. And that's how you set up a virtual machine to run automatically with Windows boot up. Thank you for watching.